Every year in December, I pick a new word for the upcoming year. I guess you could say it's like my theme for the following year. So the word that I chose for 2021 is peace. I've had a year where my word was brave and I've had a year of yes. Um, that was an interesting year. <laughs> I always choose a word that's going to help me step outside of my comfort zone and help me grow. So you might wonder how in the world the word peace is going to actually fit into that. Well, let me tell you, this year, my life has been the furthest thing from peaceful. If you've been following me on social media for a while, then you know all about my journey, but there are things that have happened that only a few people know about. So after the last 30 days, um, I decided that enough is enough and that it's time to set more boundaries in my life. And I always preach about healthy boundaries to you guys, so you know how important that is. I decided to do a total renovation of my entire life for the sake of my mental health because my mental health is my number one top priority on the outside it's been pretty subtle and you honestly may not have noticed any changes at all but on the inside <laughs> i started meditation about a month ago I really dedicated 10 minutes a day to it. I dabbled in meditation over the summer and it was great, but I honestly wasn't super consistent with it. So this month I said, listen up, Brittany, you're meditating every day this month, whether you want to or not. And I made it happen. And I just want to address something real quick. Meditation is not pretty. I feel like when people think about the word meditation, they think of bird singing and this like beautiful atmosphere of woosahs, but y'all, that is not real. Meditation is intense. You are diving into your mind and you're working through your wounds so that you can heal and you'll continue to heal throughout your entire life. It's not like a one-stop shop, like you just heal and then that's it, like for the rest of life, like you just have to put no more work in. That's, that's not real. I can't tell you how many times I've cried during my meditations this month, not because I'm sad, but because I'm releasing so much, so much hurt, so much trauma, so much bullshit. I am healing my inner child and I'm healing through my traumatic life experiences so that I'm finally able to tell myself that it's okay to let it all go because it's no longer my weight to carry, that it belongs to the past and it does not control who I am now in this present moment. It's as if you're looking at the younger version of yourself, the you from a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, and reaching out your hand and saying, it's safe now. You don't have to keep fighting and you don't have to keep running to find safety and protection. You are safe in this moment and you're safe in all future moments. During this month, things have been falling into place in such a healthy way and I feel so at peace with my life right now. I feel like... I've been able to carry a calmness in my into my day to day. Um, I'm gonna give a shout out to meditation for that. <laughs> and I've mentally shifted from fight or flight to truly living. It's not a feeling that I can put into words. Um, I feel like alignment is the closest description that I could give to you for it. It feels like over the last few weeks, my entire life has shifted into something higher and so much calmer. The other night I was thinking about how different my life is now compared to this time last year. Last year, I was constantly stressed and crying, trying to navigate through all the obstacles that were in my life, and now I feel like I can finally put my armor down and breathe to just completely relax, that it's safe for me to relax. And if you know me, like in my personal life, you know that it was very hard for me to relax, like to feel safe. I could never fully um, turn it off, you know, and just 100% just relax and now I can and it's just it's a big deal um I feel like I'm able to finally like I said just put that armor down peace is something that I'll always work towards in my life but peace and safety are different things for me I finally feel safe enough to put my armor down because I finally feel safe enough to no longer need my armor to protect me. I'm no longer mentally preparing for the next punch or prepping for the next battle. I can finally breathe and relax versus waking up every morning sick to my stomach from all the anxiety that I had. So having a low key life is so important to me now. Peaceful, calm, chill. That's what brings me happiness. That's the shit my soul loves. Every morning when I say my affirmations, I say that I am manifesting peace within my life and within myself. And I take that so seriously. If you're bringing chaos into my life, then you will be removed from it. I have zero patience for it. And it's the whole concept of protecting your energy and protecting your peace. 
maybe you're in a life situation where you feel like you're in the darkest of times you feel defeated and you feel like maybe things aren't ever going to get better maybe you feel like you can't see the light on the other side maybe you don't see a way out i've been in that situation i know how awful it is but i promise you that your breakthrough is coming it might not happen in a week or even in a month but one day a year down the road you will have a moment that washes over you where you finally feel safe enough to put down your armor I just want you to keep going. I know this year has been chaotic. There's just been so much happening. Um, But I just want you to know that your moment is on its way to you. So do you guys have a word for 2021? Is that something you do? I know some people set goals, vision boards, all those kinds of things. Um, But I'm curious if you do have a word, send me a message and tell me what it is and tell me why you chose that word because I would love to know. Also, I'm going to start adding affirmations to the end of my episodes because they're so beneficial for you and maybe you'll hear one that you love and you'll write it down someplace that you'll see it every day and say it out loud because it's so important. Okay, so when you have a day or many days when you're feeling overwhelmed and you feel like you just can't stay on top of everything that life is throwing at you, I want you to stop what you are doing and I want you to say this out loud. Say, I am trying and I am doing the best that I can every single day and that is enough. That's it. You don't need to justify any part of that. You just need to know that what you're doing is enough. You showed up, you did what you could today or any day and that's that. You are enough whether you feel that way or not. You are worthy and you don't have to do anything special to prove that to anyone. You are loved and you're so very important. Feel free to share this episode on your social media and tag me in on Instagram at barbells underscore and underscore brownies so that we can empower people all over the world. And as always, if you're battling your way through a storm right now, just remember that you're never alone. I am always, always, always in your corner. Love you guys.